Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be playing the final blitz on chess.com and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. I would request you to subscribe to my channel also and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So let's see what pieces we get. We are looking out for our opponent. If I get the white pieces, I'll play the London system setup. If I get the black pieces, I'll play the Karo Khan defense. My two of the favorite openings from respective pieces generally work pretty well. Uh, the London system is dynamic and yet give you a lot of control in the middle. Same for Karo Khan, it's that, that's very really solid. And helps you improve your position gradually. Okay, got the white pieces. So the London system set up. Okay, it gives a free pawn for to begin with. Let's take it. Let's defend with the knight. Queen there um, can be attacked with the bishop. I think so. Yep, he gives a check which can be guarded with the knight. Nothing to be worried about. He takes, can attack the queen. He gets on the pawn. That's it. Okay, let's go on with the development. Bishop here is one of the ideas on the c4. Maybe even play knight to d4 and then do that. So that queen also comes on over here. Okay, what is he looking forward to? Getting the bishop next, maybe. Let's exchange the knights. If he's looking forward to connect the pawns in the center. Yep, that had to come. And now, bishop here. Okay. And take that. Okay, he takes, I take back. He takes with the queen. Fair enough. I castle. So does he. Let's eye towards that diagonal, which we want to exploit eventually. I want to fear and care of my king here. Play pawn forward and then do that. Let's align the rooks in the center. Do a rook lift as well, maybe. Oh, let's take with the rook. Never a bad option. Okay, what is he doing? Probably nothing. Ticking a pawn there, maybe. Let's kick the queen. Don't want queen to be there. Well, because that's the sign I'm going to attack. Eventually. Okay, let's get the other rook as well. I'm just looking forward to some dynamic rook played in this game. Yep. Let's go here. Okay. Let's tank the queen. Where does the queen go now? That's the good question. Because we're going to take on the h7 next with the bishop. Uh, trying to checkmate from me from here. Things like don't they don't work in the real world, my friend. Instead, you will lose your queen now. 
you don't mess with the best and he designs that was quick uh, not really much now so it was a good good game i would say uh, we just went through it very quickly uh, there was nothing oh, prob that that has given him some pain in the ass it's just giving multiple challenges now because he was uh, playing the nice aggressive way there just developing his pieces getting the queen out early giving a check so that's a common move uh, when you are playing such games uh, generally the idea is if i play now bishop to f4 that loses my bishop as well after he gives a check or maybe i can save with the bishop but that's again getting back your piece after he takes you can get your bishop here defend the rook as well that is one of the ideas uh, to generally play that i could have done that same as well but i wanted to play more aggressive in this game uh, so i rather uh, let's go back in the game and see where i, I just went with the bishop on okay one second i'll just analyze it this doesn't work this is going to a new tab i forgot that maybe this works yeah live analysis this works yeah so i went with uh, bishop to g5 instead and after he gives a check i defend with the knight instead of getting my bishop back still as you see white is ahead in the evaluation bar here he takes i get the rook on the b1 which is also a nice move after he takes the pawn now i play e3 there trying to develop my bishop next he goes above so as you see white is pretty much ahead in the game no issues with that taking with the pawn getting two center pawns always a good option uh, we had double pawns initially but now we have fixed it he gets the bishop which doesn't work we develop our bishop as well eyeing, eyeing the diagonal gets the knight and i just took on the knight what other move i had i had to castle here as a best move casting is the best move which gives me 2.42 advantage a casting is one option to proceed here but the way i did i think i, I liked it by taking on that knight first he takes with the he takes my uh knight with the bishop first i take with the queen he takes my bishop there and i castle this also eventually is a good position as you see white is in no danger as at all and black hasn't castled yet and he castles now and then i just bring back my bishop i'm the diagonal centralizing my rook rook in front of the queen also a good option he takes i take back with the rook position is pretty much good still and then we go with the rook uh eyeing the uh, queen there otherwise i can lose on the pawn on d4 didn't want to do that so rook comes down on e4 goes back he's just moving his queen throughout the game nothing else i'm just going up on b5 rook lift second rook lift of the game now going to the h file he tries to attack my rook there even if he doesn't do that blunder the game is pretty much okay as i said plus my plan was pretty clear and then as soon as he keeps his bishop we just uh, attack his queen first he goes back and keeps it on a worse square possible because after i take that's a check after i remove my bishop from there that's what happens and he loses the queen and resigns so things can go pretty wrong if you don't play uh, the opening right and that's what happens with the opponent he's just very much fascinated with his queen throughout and just keeps on moving it so never move your pieces uh, too much in the initial part of the game not repeat your uh, same piece move and yeah be aware of checks and discovered attacks that's the learning from the game i hope you like the video do let me know your feedback press on the like button as well do comment and share with your friends and until then next time uh, see you take care bye bye